there, Pteranodon family. Hello, Mr. Conductor. And where are we off to today? I found a stick that looks exactly like the old Spinosaurus. See? Oh, okay. And now I'm going to go ask the old Spinosaurus to pose for me so I can make a stick sculpture that looks even more exactly like him. Don wants to make sure he gets all the details of his features right. Well, I think that's a fact. Fantastic idea! I agree. Uh, except for the part about the old Spinosaurus posing for you. I have a hard time picturing that. Me too. Me three. Yeah. It does seem like quite a challenge. It's gonna be easy. Once I show him this stick, there's no way the old Spinosaurus is gonna say no. Well done. If you think you can do it, then chances are it'll get done. Big Misty Sea Station, here we come! No! So, Mr. Conductor, we had some trouble remembering a lot of Spinosaurus features. Well, kids, the Spinosaurus is the world's largest theropod and the world's largest land carnivore. Whoa! It's even larger than the T-Rex? Yep. Hey, Dawn, maybe you could just use that picture of a Spinosaurus as a model instead of asking the old Spinosaurus. Shiny, this stick doesn't look like that Spinosaurus. It looks like the old Spinosaurus. There's a huge difference. Oh! There is? The old Spinosaurus spends a lot of time in the water, right? Well, that's right, Tiny. That may be why he's able to get so big, because it's easier to be big in the water. Any idea why? Hypothesis. Is it because when you're in the water, it feels like you weigh less? Yes, buddy. No matter how big you are in the water, you'll still float. That's called buoyancy. Buoyancy? Yep. Something as big as a Spinosaurus can move a lot easier in the water. Oh, hold on. Time tunnel! Time tunnel approaching! Next stop, Big Misty Sea Station! 